بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ ہو از دا موسٹ بینیفیشنٹ ایٹ دا موسٹ مرسیفل ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا کارٹیلیج فارمنگ ٹیومرس مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر فخر ایا یو آر واچنگ اور یوٹیوب چینل میڈیکو سویمر دس ٹاپک از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا آنکالوجی آف دا بون بون آنکالوجی کارٹیلیج فارمنگ ٹیومرس فسٹلی آئی ول ڈسکس فارمیشن آف دا کارٹیلیج نیئر دا بونز ایریا دس از اور بون اینڈ فارمیشن آف کارٹیلیج نیئر دا بون از کارڈ ایز دا کارٹیلیج فارمنگ ٹیومرس فسٹلی وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا کلاسیفکیشن کلاسیفکیشن مے بی بینائن اور مے بی ملیگنٹ ان دس کیس وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا کلاسیفکیشن دس از دا کیٹاگری بہیویئر ٹیومر ٹائپ کامن لوکیشن ایج اینڈ دا مارفالوجی ان دس کیس دس از دا کارٹیلیج فارمنگ اٹ مے بی بینائن اور دا ملیگنٹ بینائن از دا آسٹیو کانڈروما آسٹیو مین دا بون اینڈ دا کانڈروما مین فارمیشن آف دا کارٹیلیج اوما مین کینسرس لائف بینائن کینسر دیٹس وائی دا فارمیشن آف کارٹیلیج ان دا بون از کارڈ ایز دا آسٹیو کانڈروما دس از دا بینائن ٹائپ از دا کانڈروما اینڈ ادر از دا ملیگنٹ ٹائپ از دا کانڈرو سارکوما If it is a case of the sarcoma, it is the malignant. And common location of the osteochondroma is the metaphysis of the long bone. In case of the chondroma, it is a small bone of the hands and the feet. These are the hand and the small bones of the hand and feet. In case of the malignant chondrosarcoma, it may be of the pelvic or the shoulder. Age may be increasingly uh, in the ascending order. Uh, in case of the benign, it is a 10 to 30 years. In case of the chondroma, it may be 30 uh, to 50 years. In case of the malignant, it may be increased to 40 to 60. Firstly, I will discuss with you the osteochondroma. This is the osteochondroma. This is a benign type. In case of the osteochondroma, clinically known as the exostosis. What is the exostosis? Exo means outside. and the stosis mean formation of the cartilage cartilage outside the bone this is our bone and formation of cartilage outside the bone is called as the exostosis it is a benign capped tumor cartilage capped this is a cap like tumor that is attached to the underlying skeleton of a bony stock we will discuss it later on it mean the solitary 85% of the cases Uh, this is why the osteochondroma is the most important mcq is the osteochondroma mainly constitute of the 85% cases it may be multiple hereditary uh, exostosis syndrome solitary uh, osteochondromas other the uh, multiple osteochondromas in the solitary in the specifically uh, the osteochondroma is the firstly diagnosed in the late adolescence and the early childhood adulthood but it is a multiple osteochondroma it may be occurs at the during the childhood the most important mcq is the multiple osteochondroma is apparent during the childhood common sites of the involvement mainly involve the bone but common sites are the metaphysis area this is the metaphysis area of the near the growth plate of the long tubular bone i will discuss later on the this is the bone and this is the growth plate near the growth plate is the metaphysis area this is the metaphysis area here there is a formation of the cartilage i will discuss uh, the most is the near the metaphysis area in the growth plate of the long tubular bone especially near the knee pathogenesis pathogenesis always tumor is the pathogenesis is the mutation of the gene Uh, mutation in either the EXTI1 or the EXT2 gene. These two genes mainly encode the enzyme heparin sulfate uh, glycosin amino glycogen. These are mainly involved in the formation of the bone matrix. And mainly uh, if they are not produced, they are mainly controlling the hedgehog factors. What are the hedgehog factors? hedgehog factors are those factors which are main regulator of the cartilage growth if uh, there is a abnormal uh, glycosaminoglycan then increased uh, diffusion of the hedgehog factor if in case of the increased diffusion of the hedgehog factor there is a formation of the cartilage growth 
that's why uh, its mainly cause is the mutation in either ext1 gene or ext2 gene other is the morphology is the most important it may be sessile or pedunculated sessile mean specifically attached and pedunculated mean pedunculate formation formation of the stalk then the growth of the uh, uh, tumor pedunculated is the specifically stalk like it may ranges from the 1 to 20 cm the most important is the here i will discuss it the this is a, uh, a bone and this is the diaphysis area and this is the growth plate near it is the metaphysis area then leads to the formation of the this is the bone the uh, bone marrow this is the bone and here the formation of the cartilage you will see in the blue line there is a formation of the cartilage that's why in the metaphysis area this is a metaphysis area mainly there is a uh, uh, knee joint area area of the knee joint mainly this is a uh, femur and nearly tibia and a fibula mainly this is the formation of the cartilage here this is called as the osteochondroma here you will dis i will discuss the this is the formation of the cartilage like this is the cartilage like but in the this area is the uh, bone formation here you will you are seeing the hole this is the harvation canal system you are uh, seeing in the histology of the bone this is the harvation canal system but outside is the cartilage form uh, here in the x-ray the typical presentation this is the knee joint and this is the patella of the knee bone this is the femur and this is the tibia in this case this is the femur and this is the uh, specifically osteochondroma specifically this is the osteochondroma this is the osteochondroma of the femur or the thigh bone this this is the pedunculated mainly pedunculate formation a stalk like then it is a uh, rounded shape this is a stalk like here you will see this is the osteochondroma mainly upper bones this is a specifically stalk like radiograph of the osteochondroma this is the bone and on the, this is the metaphysis area this is the growth plate and above is the metaphysis area in the metaphysis area uh, there is a pedunculated outside the cartilage forming osteochondroma sign and the symptoms mainly uh, majority of the osteochondroma are the symptomless there are no symptoms but a hard immobile painless palpable mass there is a mass appearing uh, cartilage like and this is called as the uh, palpable mass but it is a painless and immobile muscle soreness and the pressure on the initiation with the heavy exercise uh, if the tumor found under a tendon it may cause a pain but it is not so much important diagnosis diagnosis may be of the if we suspected the uh, osteochondroma we may be suspect by the x-ray these are the x-rays these are the x-rays but we can uh, uh, differentiate by the CT scan but the most important is the MRI magnetic resonance imaging for the soft tissues and by the clinical testing we are analyzing because of the ext1 and ext2 gene are the defective mutation then we can define and other is the biopsy these are the diagnosis method other is the chondroma it is also chondroma are the benign tumors of the hyaline cartilage other, uh, the, there was a cartilage but in this case specific is a hyaline cartilage that usually occur in the bone of the endocardial region it may be on the medullary cavity this is called endochondroma or the cortical surface this is called juxtacortical chondroma uh, oleal disease and the this is our disorder characterized by the multiple uh, and uh, this is the chondromas and chondromas i will discuss the most important is the formation of the hyaline cartilage this is most important formation of the hyaline cartilage i will discuss later on mainly uh, i will show here this is the chondroma and chondroma of the proximal phalanx uh, this is the proximal phalanx on this area pathogenesis its pathogenesis by way the uh, functional mutation in the idh1 and the idh2 gene coding for the enzyme this is not much important important is the gene idh1 and the idh2 gene 
cut uh, the most important this is the other is the chondrosarcoma chondrosarcoma was the malignant if it is a case of the sarcoma this is a malignant case uh, chondrosarcoma are the malignant tumors that produces the cartilage they are subclassified into the conventional highlight cartilage and other d differentiated clear cell and other the mesenchyma this is the most important radiological x-ray of the pelvis showing large exophytic growth this is a, a pelvic bone here this is a femur and on that side this is the most important here you will see the most important on the uh, x-ray chondrosarcoma of the distal femoral metaphysis this is a here you will uh, discuss about the uh, femoral metaphysis area in the specific uh, area there is a uh, metastatic area diffused form there is a diffused and the undifferentiated this is the uh, chondrosarcoma undifferentiated pathogenesis may be of the ext1 gene or other the idh1 or the iga2 mutation Histologically, they may produce cartilaginous matrix here. This is a, I will discuss with you the histologically. This is the N chondroma. Firstly, it was the benign tumor, but in case it converted into the cartilage forming. This is a here you will see the liquinae and hyaline cartilage like look like the hyaline cartilage. This is the cartilage like grade one, grade two, and the grade three grade 1 tumor have relatively low cellularity and the chondrocyte have plump vesicular nuclei with the small nuclei here you will see these are the chondrocytes small nuclei and these are the chondrocyte in the grade 1 chondrosarcoma in the case of the grade 3 chondrosarcoma high cellularity extreme pleomorphism with the bizarre tumor giant cell and mitosis in this case there is a, a chondrocyte here these are the chondrocytes but there is always there is a, a macrophages macrophage actually giant cell what are the giant cell if accumulation of the macrophages they converted into the giant cells here there is a typical presentation of the giant cell and here uh, this is a grade 3 chondrosarcoma it may be dedifferentiated or it may be clear cell chondrosarcoma or the mesenchymal chondrosarcoma clinical course it may be painful but in case of the benign it was a pain less but in case of the uh, sarcoma or the malignant it may it is a painful uh, it is a painful and grade 1 chondrosarcoma rarely metastasized but 70 percent of the grade 3 spread hematogenously into the especially into the lungs if there is a chondrosarcoma of the grade 3 they may be metaphysed through the blood and reach through the lungs area that we all this uh, diagnosis may be all or the diagnosis may be x-ray uh, mri computerized tomography uh, that we all discuss about the tumors of the cartilage we have discussed i will uh, discuss you the more is the benign and the malignant benign we have discussed osteochondroma and the chondroma in case of the malignant this is a chondrosarcoma that we all discuss thank you so much jazakallah Allah is please like and subscribe our channel medicos fever and remember us in your prayers allah Hafiz.